finger bobs. Yuffie lifts a finger and a mouse is there. Puts his hands together and a seagull takes the air. Yuffie lifts a finger and a scampy darts about. Yuffie bends another and a tortoise head peeps out. These hands were made for making and making they must do. Seeds. Lots of seeds. These ones are in a packet. They're quite big seeds and they grow into flowers when they're planted in the earth. And these tiny ones, almost like a powder, they can grow into crisp, juicy lettuces. And these are pea seeds, peas from a pod. These are seeds too, seeds that make trees. These cones have seeds in them. There are lots of seeds tucked away inside this pine cone. I'll show you one. There it is. Each seed can grow into a tall pine tree. When an apple's cut open, you can see the pips in the middle. They're seeds. Well, I want to collect some more seeds today. And Finger Mouse, I hope, is going to help me. Aren't you, Finger Mouse? And who's going to help me, says Finger Mouse. Don't think me unwilling. I enjoy helping you, Yuffie, but sometimes it's very hard work. It's too much for one. Yes, I could do with some help. Now, what about Flash? Look at him, lying all over the place. He could help. Now, come on, Flash. Get yourself together. Put your nose through the hole. Just a minute, it's over your eyes. Let's see where you're going there. That's better. Finger Mouse and Flash, everything together. He's right, says Flash. Come on then. Finger Mouse, Finger Mouse, the never stop to think a mouse, the always on the brink a mouse. Finger Mouse, that's me. I am the mouse called Finger Mouse, the mouse with guts and verve. I get past cats so easily with my famous body swerve. Finger Mouse, Finger Mouse, I'm a sort of wonder mouse, a hit, a miss, a blunder mouse. Finger Mouse, that's me. Aha, a bee. Now bees know all about flowers and seeds and things. I reckon if we follow that bee, we'll find what we want. Hey, follow that bee. Watch where it settles. Look at those big seeds up there. Just the job, says Finger Mouse. But how do we get them down, says Flash. Yes, that's the problem. I'll think of something, says Finger Mouse. Leave it to me. Here we are. String's the thing, says Finger Mouse. A little string can go a long way. Now you watch. Finger Mouse, that's me. There. I can save myself going up and down the stem all the time. If I can loop the string over the top of the flower, like that, Pull it down, that's it. You get hold of the other end, Flash, and start to pull. Keep pulling. It's coming, that's it. Heave away, mighty Flash. Heave away, my old hearty. Oh, keep it steady, Flash. It's, uh, it's not a swing or a seesaw. 
Flash? Keep it steady, you're making me di Ah! Am I still alive? Says Finger Mouse. Well, says Flash, you're moving. Now this time we'll pull together. Ready? Steady? Heave. There, it's coming down. Heave. That's it. Pull. Oh. Quick. Those pigeons are after the seeds. We'll have to beat them to it. Pull. Oh. Oh. A few more. There. We've done it. We've done it. We've been done, you mean, says Flash. All the seeds have gone, you and your bright ideas. I'm only human, says Finger Mouse. All that pulling, we've been robbed. There must be an easier way, says Flash. And I am going to find one. Steadily, I move at my own pace. They call me Flash, though I won't dash. Who wants to run a race? As long as I get there, why worry? What's the hurry? Seeds everywhere, ready to fall. Maybe I'll be lucky, and some will fall my way. This is where the Flash special shell comes in handy. Hmm, seed collecting just isn't me, says Finger Mouse. Who's this? It's Scaredy the Crow. Having trouble, my little friend? Yes, says Finger Mouse. I can't get any seeds. Ah, seed collecting is easy as crowing. I'm pinching them all the time. I'm no good at it, says Finger Mouse. No good at all. I've been trying all day and I haven't got any seeds for you offer yet. Leave it to the expert. I'll get some seeds. Ha! Ah, lovely ripe corn. Ripe for pinching. Hope there are no scarecrows about. If there's one thing I can't stand in this world, it's... What's that? Hmm. Looks a bit like one of those scarecrows to me. I just hope it isn't. They scare me stiff. I better take a closer look. Looks a bit like a scarecrow. It is a scarecrow. I'm scared! 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 Bzzz. Ooh. Is that bee again? I wish I could speak bee's language. Maybe he could tell me where some seeds are. Bzzeeds. Bzzeeds. I know where some bzzeeds are, says the bee. Plenty of bzzeeds. There. What a collection, says Finger Mouse. That's great, Flash. Look what we've collected. Flash, we've done it again. Done it again, says Flash. What did I tell you? You and I together, we can do anything. Yuffie's got all the seeds he needs. We can take it easy now and listen to the story. There was once a man called Ivan who wanted to make a beautiful garden. He made walls for it. He made a pond for it and put fish in it. He made paths across it. 
he dug flower beds. All his garden needed now was flowers. So he planted seeds. And now Ivan had to wait, wait for the seeds to grow into flowers. But Ivan wasn't very good at waiting. In fact, he didn't like waiting at all. Every day he walked up and down impatiently. Don't know why he's so impatient, said one fish to another. You've got to give seeds time to grow into flowers. But Ivan went on striding up and down. <gasps> I can't wait for those seeds to grow into flowers, he said. The seeds were waiting, though, under the earth. There wasn't a sign of anything growing. At last, Ivan could wait no longer. I must just have a look, he said. And he dug up some of the seeds. They looked just the same as when he'd planted them. Nothing had changed. I don't know why he can't wait, said one bird to another. It takes time for seeds to grow into flowers. But Ivan wouldn't leave the seeds alone. He dug them when they didn't need digging. He watered them when they didn't need watering. I don't know why he can't wait, said one frog to another. He'll never get anything to grow at this rate. It takes time for seeds to grow into flowers. And then one night, it got so cold it started to snow. Ivan worried about the seeds being cold. He stayed up all night pouring hot water onto them. But when he got back into his home, he found he'd caught a terrible cold. <coughs> he had such a bad cold, he had to stay in bed for weeks and weeks. He was very worried because he couldn't go out to see how the seeds were getting on. But every time he tried to get out of bed, <gasps> he sneezed himself back in again. While Ivan was in bed, the sun shone, the rain rained, and the wind blew. And the seeds grew, thanks to the sun, the wind, and the rain. And then one morning, he woke up to see a huge flower nodding in his window. He stopped sneezing. He felt better. He got out of bed and went to the window. The garden was full of flowers. All his seeds had grown into flowers while he'd been lying there in bed, doing nothing. What a lovely garden we've got, said the fish, thanks to the sun, the rain and the wind. What a lovely garden we've got, said the birds, thanks to the sun, the rain and the wind. What a lovely garden we've got, said the frogs, thanks to the sun the rain, and the wind, and to Ivan, who planted it, and waited for the seeds to grow. And that's the end of the story. Thank mm -hmm. you.